Man. Oh boy. I like that. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. boys and girls, welcome back to the Love Lounge on Smooth Fire FM. It's your man, Johnny Jive, baby. What's good, <laughs> Hell yeah. And hey, joining my man, Johnny Jive. You know who it is. Quincy Calvin Clark. KKK, no relation. No relation, baby. Nah, none whatsoever. My man, where are you calling from this week, baby? I know you got into a little bit of trouble last week. I think everybody who was listening heard a little uh, little activity in the background there with some police and some dogs and that kind of thing. Yeah. I don't know what happened from there, man. It's the first time we've been in touch. So where are you calling me from? Yeah, man, you know, the long arm of the law had caught up to me, and they was tickling my uvula through my asshole. That's how close they got. So, you know, I'm currently locked up at a black site. A black site? You mean like a CIA black site? No, nah, man, some like small crack-ass town butcher niggas in here with me, you know. Oh, all right. Well, fair enough. I mean, there's something a, a bit sad about that, but we'll move on. Yep. So, my man, usually, you know, with all the traditions of this show, we typically go right into the first segment, which is the Quincy Calvin Clark Love Spark. But I figured this week, if you don't mind, my main man, if you don't mind, we uh, yeah. go a little different and we kind of swing my way a little bit because I actually got I got an email just oh. this morning to add to the Johnny Jive sexual archive. Damn, what you got, Mr. Johnny on the spot? Let's go, baby. The letter I got this week from a lovely lady named Maria is titled, He Roared Like a Lion. Oh, baby. Damn, like what sort of lion, though? Like, was it Mufasa from Lion King? Or was it uh, the cowardly lion from The Wizard of Oz? Like, uh, c- 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 courage. Huh? What a pussy. I was like, uh, c- c- can we fuck? Who, you a smooth criminal. I gotta be honest. Growing up watching that movie, I never thought I'd hear a man describe him in that manner. No, oh, well, me neither, man. But hey, you know, sometimes I beat a tin man because my dick be hard as metal. Just need some lube. That's the oil. Who, oh, baby, follow the yellow brick road in that ass? Oh. So Maria says. I briefly casually dated this guy, and during the one time we had sex, he started roaring like a lion. Hell yeah, just my jungle, bitch. It was very weird. He was so loud. I was shocked. I never experienced anyone roaring in bed before. Well, shit. Guess she ain't never been with Johnny Jive, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hell yeah, man. You like a white tiger. <laughs> oh, I know that's right. That's why I nicknamed my dick and balls Siegfried and Roy. Can you oh. dig it? <laughs> Don't attack them like you did the actual people. Oh, I know that's right. You be in some trouble, because the nickname for my asshole is the Ringmaster. God damn, I know that's right. So she continues. I never experienced anyone roaring in bed before. But he had his eyes closed, and I don't think he noticed my reaction. He was really into it. Yeah. We were in his dorm, and his roommate also walked in on us at one point. Hey, I, Im- I imagine that was like watching a National Geographic documentary. Get you, dig? Hell yeah, man. David Atten, bro. Man, I'm trying to be David Atten some pussy. She concludes, the whole encounter was like something out of a sitcom. Hell yeah, man, like the big banging theory. <laughs> oh, bazinga. And just like a traditional sitcom format, we're gonna take a quick break. Yep. Hola, do you like tacos or burritos? Or maybe you like a chimichanga? Do you also happen to worship Satan? Bring the whole family down to Taco Hell. That's right, Taco Hell. The only fast food Mexican joint run exclusively by devil worshippers. Every Thursday night is the 666 deal. You get six tacos, six burritos, six chimichangas to feed the whole family. And when it's all said and done, we'll send you out the door with a free complimentary vial of goat's blood. (laughs) Taco Hell, Taco Hell, Taco Hell, Taco Hell. Call 666-TACO to pre-order. The Love Lounge on Smooth Fire FM. (laughs) 
Nigga, if you don't stop tickling my asshole without my permission, I will bitch slap the black off your ass. Just cause you paint your fingernails don't make you a woman. Fuck off out of here. Oh shit, Johnny. Hey, you alright over there, man? Man, these motherfuckers, man, they see what I'm packing and they see what I ain't lacking. Man, the fuck, you know? Hey man, black on black crime, I'm not for it. But at this point in time, I'm also not against it. Even in the penitentiary, you're a man highly sought after. Hell yeah, man, it's a burden. But that's what happens when you have a gorgeous dick and an ass shaped like a peach. Oh my lord. Yeah, so anyway, your story from the archive reminded me of something that happened to me way back when. Would you like to hear it? Ooh, do tell, do tell, do tell. Nigga, I will smack you. So anyway, the story is as follows. Uh, I was down in Italy, very beautiful Italy. You know, uh, a lot of flowers and shit. And I actually went running with the bulls. Can you believe it? The running of the bulls? I, I think you mean Spain, my brother. Man, that that's the mainstream shit. I'm talking about the underground bull run. Underground. Oh, oh, continue. Yeah, they got bulls in the sewer, literally underground. Just fucked up. Horrible conditions for the animals. A lot of death. So anyway, I was down there, and I'm an athlete, so I'm quick as shit. I outran all the bulls, mainly because the methane slowed them down a lot. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I reached the finish line, and there was this sexy, big titty, big booty, one man. And I'm like, damn. So I smacked her on the butt. I said, hello. You know, that's my greeting. She turned around, slapped me in the face, which I took as a, hey, how you doing? And so we got to conversing. And what happened was she was so turned on by the bull run on the ground, she took me back to her apartment. And uh, she had got on all fours on her bed, completely naked. So I'm like, all right, good. She don't like to fuck around. I'm down with that. And she said, now back up 10 feet. I said, okay, I'll back up 10 feet. Then she said, back up 10 feet more. She had a big ass apartment, okay? So what she said was, aye, 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 aye. And what that meant, that was the signal for me to take off running. So I ran full speed and plunged straight into her vagina. My dick came out of her mouth, man, swear to God. I'm gonna be honest with you, it's hard to find the words to react to such a gorgeous story. Well, hell yeah, gorgeous like my dick, I know. But yo, remember that time I told you you ever fuck so good, you get head at the same time? That was that instance where that happened. Oh, baby, it's all coming together. Two plus two equals four, and I'm talking about all fours. Can you dig it? Oh, shit. Haha, <laughs> facts. You know what facts means in Italian? Tell us, sucker. Break. Listen up, you pansy fucks. If you've ever wanted to go space balls deep in some foreign alien ass, this is your chance. Join the Space Force today where you too can annihilate ass on a whole new level. Space level. Because here at the Space Force, we fuck shit up. We got lasers and shit. And shit. Don't take my word for it. Let's hear from one of our newest recruits. Yeah, so my name is Trevor and this is my opportunity to prove that I am more than planet Earth. I'm moving on to bigger and better things. I joined so that I can fuck that black hole into submission and grab some space balls while I'm at it. Sha! So if you too want to join the Space Force and get space balls deep with some Space Force Force, then call today on 1-800-GLITTER or go into your local Space Force recruitment office in the back of Home Depot and ask for Chuck. Yo, you all like cheeseburgers? Well, we sell motherfucking cheeseburgers down at Mac Peace Burger House. That's right. Get your ass down here on a Tuesday night for the two-for-one burger deal. We got ketchup, mustard, pickles, lettuce, buns. We got all that motherfucking shit for you down at Mac Peace Burger House. That's right. Every Tuesday, it's a two-for-one deal all up on these motherfucking cheeseburgers. And when you come down to Mac Peace Burger House, be sure to wear your vest because our burgers are worth a bullet to the motherfucking chest. Please note, the employees at Mac P's Burger House are not responsible for your personal safety. Are you tired of having your pubic hair look all curly and rigid? Do you dream of styling your pubes into that perfect pubic perm? Well, dream no more. Now you can have beautifully styled pubes just like your favorite uncle with Ryan's Pubic Rescue Cream. Ryan's Pubic Rescue Cream will turn your pubes from zero to pubic hero. You'll be the talk of the town. Everyone, including the president, will be jealous of your pubes. That's Ryan's Pubic Rescue Cream, available from all pizza shops and orphanages. It's 
the Love Lounge on Smooth Fire FM. On it. Hey man, this prison food is shit. I'm uh, having a hard time sitting in this uh, airtight studio. You know what I mean? I'm I'm basking in my own filth at this point. Just uh, I ate some bad refried beans, man. I just, I don't know what it is, man. It's I, oh damn. I, hey man, this don't usually happen to me. This is usually a Quincy problem. You know what I mean? But now Johnny Jive, he's got a got a bit of a rumbly tummy going on. You know what I mean? Hey, that's all right. Welcome to my world, baby. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, well, damn. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Hey, man, I'm glad I'm now currently outdoors, you know, on the road walking because, you know, I had to break out of prison. Oh, damn, you Shawshanked it. I Shawshanked this one motherfucker kept touching my butthole without my permission. So anyway, you'll find Jack. I get it. <laughs> if anybody gets it, Quincy Calvin Clark gets it. Okay, okay, okay. No relation. No relation. Damn, man, you still hitting them notes. Yeah, I'm still hitting them notes, and at the moment, I'm hitting some notes uh, out my butthole, I'm gonna be honest. I got some toots going on. Hell yeah, like like the bronze butt trumpet. Yeah, something like that. More of a more of an ass flute. You know, it's actually a real instrument. I remember playing one when I was tripping on mushrooms up in the Himalaya Mountains with a couple of llamas and a shaman. Wait a minute, you played an ass flute? Yeah, you see, you know, it's a wooden instrument, but the only way it actually makes sound is it has to be connected to another person's ass. Hold on now, sucker. Are you jiving me? Yeah, you see, it's actually a lot of fun, man. You see, the shaman I was tripping with, he laid me down on a bed of hay, and he had me get butt naked, and I put my ankles back in my ears so my butt was sticking up in the air, right? I could barely breathe. It was, it was a tough position to be in. It was kind of like, you know, yoga. And then he sticks the ass flute in my anus, and he says, one, two... Three, and then he punches me in the stomach, and it forces the gas out my asshole. And as the gases are flying out all the holes of the instrument, the shaman is positioning his fingers strategically all over the note holes. Damn, in all honesty, that sounds beautiful, my man. Like, what kind of song did y'all create? Well, there are some out there in the world who have credited us with creating the very sound Nickelback is known for. So what you're telling me is every song you created from your ass flute sounded the exact same as the one prior? That's exactly what I'm saying. Well, anyway, with all that being said, all you smooth cats and frisky foxes, we appreciate you listening, and we know some of you are in bed right now getting undressed, about to get freaky. Uh-huh. Yeah, baby. Bull run happening. Uh-huh. That's right, baby. Let this be the running of the bulls in your bedroom. You have one or two options. Your partner comes at you, and you have the red sheet. You can either be like, Ole or Touche. <laughs> you see what I did? God damn, I'm so slick, nigga. That's right, folks. It's about that time. We want you to prepare yourselves. We want you to look deep into each other's eyes, deep into each other's souls. And we want you to get animalistic on each other's sexual parts. Hey, imagine David Attenborough is actually watching, narrating your fucking... Ooh, Quincy, you're a smooth criminal, baby. Man, that's how important it is, you know. Yeah, you know, I would even attempt a David Attenborough accent, but it is hard for me to emulate an old white male. Well, let me, let me give it a try. Well, by all means, man, let's go. We've stumbled into the bedroom of a smooth cat and a frisky fox. And as you can see, the smooth cat has inserted his finger into the frisky fox's vagina. And as the fingers run up and down inside the vagina, hitting the mythical G-spot, the frisky fox trembles in erotic pleasure. Well, goddamn, Johnny, I literally thought 
that I was watching National Geographic. I was enthralled, man. Well, I was just fucking around, man. You see, back in the day, even before you and I used to do our radio show, I did a little bit of, you know, just some entertainment. I did some impersonations, that kind of thing. But, you know, I also, I dabbled in some ventriloquism, too. I still got a dummy. He sits in my closet and goes by the name of Slappy. Slappy? Yeah, yeah, it was a, it's a failed act. You see, I, I thought it'd be funny for Slappy to, you know, like, at the climax of the act, his pants would come down and he'd have this big old raging erection, and then I used to have jugs of milk that I'd have attached to his backside, and then I'd squeeze it, and then, like, the milk would shoot out the fake wooden erection all over the front row of the audience. This was before Gallagher was doing this shit, you know oh, what I mean? Yeah. But, yeah, it I was too it. early, too ahead of its time. Well, it's funny that you mentioned the climax of the act. That is ironic. It is. Take your fucking clothes off. Take them off. Get the fucking. Turn this goddamn show off and just fuck each other. Hell yeah. Nigga, you gonna steal hell? How the fuck did you break out too? Man, if you don't get your fucking fingers out of my asshole. Look, man, Johnny, I gotta go. I'm about to bitch slap this bitch. Oh, folks, it looks like, uh, looks like our man Quincy Calvin Clark got followed out of jail. And he's, uh, he, well, he's gonna go deal with that. And folks, we appreciate you listening. We're gonna get out of here and, and... Bitch. All right, well, I gotta turn this off.